Now let us begin. Today's subject is one that I've covered in my books. <clears throat> we call it finishing up. We're going to present this lesson in a particular way, in a personalized way, you might say, making it personal. I'm going to ask you, the individual, the viewer, to consider what it is that you love. Each of you has something you love. Do you have what you love? Uh, are you experiencing it? <clears throat> if you are, congratulations. You are successfully creating your life of love. However, if you are not experiencing what you love, if there are obstacles, in the path of your experiencing what you love. Mm, let's see what the problems might be here. What prevents you from experiencing what you love? Love is the creative energy mm, of the universe, of the Creator of all that is. And so, another word for love, perhaps, <clears throat> energy, positive energy, loving energy. Mm. The world is created through loving energy. The earth herself is created through loving energy via the prime creator. Hmm. You are also a creator. You are a part of all that is. Uh, you are, you might say, the microcosm, uh, creator spirit, uh, in relation to all that is. <clears throat> so, as you attempt to discover mm, what stands in the way uh, of love for you, um, Consider that everything that is not love in your personal reality was created uh, by you through uh, emotions um, less than love. Mm, certainly not uh, the loving understanding that we're describing here that creates uh, the universe. Um, but perhaps um, an emotion that needs, <clears throat> that wants, um, that demands, mm, that sees the personal reality and through a cynical lens um, as though I'm not receiving what I deserve. Uh, where is my love <laughs> that I've worked for my entire life, for example? <clears throat> Here's where you discover those barriers to getting um, what you love. Mm, 
this uh, emotional blockade. Mm. These ideas of self-importance, let's say, mm. we call it the ego personification. In the books, may be a barrier. Mm. Perhaps you believe you're too good uh, for some things, mm, or perhaps the opposite is true. You believe that you are unworthy. Mm. These barriers can be dissolved. Uh, through an application of heart energy, mm, love energy, uh, that you direct outward uh, into your world uh, with your positive intent. Um, so the path seems to be identify the barriers uh, usually conflicting beliefs, uh, a belief in unworthiness, mm, a belief that you're too good for the world, mm, a belief that you have to attain some high level of uh, spirituality to receive what you love. Mm. You use your intent to summon up, to distill these positive uh, energies of loving understanding as you understand them uh, over your existence, what you know of as love, um, and then direct it outwards. Dissolving these barriers, um, these emotional conflicts, these conflicting beliefs, um, to then perceive an improved reality. Um, in other words, you notice uh, in this finishing up process, the improvements. You identify them and perhaps you write them down. Uh, and as you carry out this uh, process of finishing up over time, days, weeks, months, uh, you get very good at finding improvements in your reality. Uh, perhaps finding uh, that your um, lover is near, your desired objects, what you love, mm, are here. Mm, it's happening. Um, you've removed those barriers and you've created a new positive reality for yourself. I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much.